16. The Zionists in London went to the British War Cabinet and they said, look here, you can yet win this war. You don't have to give up. You don't have to accept a negotiated peace offered to you now by Germany. We will guarantee to bring the United States into the war as your ally, to fight with you on your side, if you will promise us Palestine after you win the war. Now what happened? After we got into the war, the Zionists went to Great Britain and they said, well, we performed our part of the agreement. Let's have something in writing that shows that you are going to keep your bargain and give us Palestine after you win the war. So they started to work out a receipt. The receipt took the form of a letter and that was called the Balfour Declaration. Enter a week of commemorations around the centenary of the Balfour Declaration. Yeah. Uh, would my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, rededicate us to the pursuit of peace and justice for both the Israelis and the Palestinians, but celebrate with pride our small national contribution to the creation of a democracy in the Middle East? We are proud of the role that we played in the creation of the State of Israel, and we will certainly mark the centenary with pride. We cannot solve our problems by making the same failed assumptions and repeating the same failed strategies of the past. It would be folly to assume that repeating the exact same formula would now produce a different or better result. Therefore, I have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Why is Western civilization obsessed with the Holy Land? Come on, tell me. You're supposed to be secular, but you are obsessed with the Holy Land. Why did you launch the Crusades? No other Christians join in the Crusades, no, only the white. Only the white Christians, they're the only ones. That sounds mysterious. I want an answer, particularly from the Pope in Rome. Why is it that Britain, which is supposed to be a secular state, in October of 1917, issues this strange and mysterious declaration called the Balfour Declaration, that it is the intention of the British government to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home in the Holy Land. It sounds as though modern Western civilization is pursuing a religious agenda. It's time for us to say so. Put it on record. And why is it that Britain in 1948 acted like a thief in the dark, functioning as the midwife for the baby to be born? the State of Israel. The British are very particular about law and transfer of power. You know, midnight and the flag huh, and all the drums and song, the transfer of power is part of the pageantry of Britain when they decolonize and a constitution and so on. But for Israel, they didn't do that. There was no legal transfer of power. 
for Israel to be born. No, Britain, you left like a thief in the dark. Why? Is it because this Israel must have credentials as holy Israel? It seems as though modern Western civilization is pursuing a religious agenda. Why does Britain maintain such a strong, close relationship with Israel? Huh? Sending spies into the Muslim world. Lawrence of Arabia, all the others, to wreak havoc amongst Muslims for Israel's sake. And then when Pax Americana took over from Pax Britannica, do you have any tools of political analysis to explain to me why does the United States of America have this strange and mysterious obsession with Israel? protecting Israel with countless vetoes in the Security Council of the United Nations? Why is there this massive transfer of wealth to Israel? Why is there this massive transfer of military technology to Israel? Why? It seems as though the United States has a religious agenda as well that they want Israel to become the ruling state in the world. And those who control power in the United States know that the time has now come for the United States to bow so Israel can stand. And therefore, the US dollar has to collapse. The American economy has to collapse. Is it that modern Western civilization is led by people who are themselves pursuing a religious agenda connected with Akhiru Zaman? Is it?